today we have another exciting makeup review and it is Urban Decay Naked Metal Mania. Now let me start this video by saying that besides the shade Power Court, I did not see this palette really exciting and this color story wasn't something that I was drawn to, but still I wanted to give it a shot. It is Naked Palette and it is Urban Decay, so I wanted to do a test review for you guys. And first thing I'm going to say, total opposite of what happened last time when I reviewed my last palette <laughs> from Tarte. This one swatched beautifully. So look at the swatches. These went so, so creamy and I really do have big hopes now for this one. But the swatches, oh my God, they swatched so beautifully. And this shade Spike Stud, when I swatch it, um, this one actually, it is like a cream. It's not like the other eyeshadows, but rather goes like a cream. This is how packaging looks like. I really do love, it has actually 3D print and I do love the packaging and also it does have a lot of small glitters inside and this is easy to maintain and that's what I really appreciate. It comes with this dual ended brush and this is how inside looks like, but it cost $59. Wow. I guess everything went up. It is really expensive. Will the formulation justify the price? We'll see. Anyways, this is the brush that this palette came with. And I just wanted to say Urban Decay. What am I supposed to do with this? I, if I'm using the lightest shade in my crease, then okay. But this is so bulk, bulky for the eyes, for the blending eyeshadows. Like one of the biggest one that I use just to compare. This is a small precise brush from Miss Cosmetics. And when I compare this one, to this one. Oh my God, can you can you even see, not, not like this, but like this, this, the difference in the size. When you are blending your eyeshadows, it is so important to have a good brush. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, yeah, this side, however, yes, I can manage. I can do something maybe with it. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I'll give it a try, but just for what I can see. And I was complaining about this brush from Sigma, how big it is, but still way better than, unfortunately, size-wise when than this. Wow, so bulky. Maybe it'll work for something else, because usually what happens when I do have brushes, they're meant to be for the eyeshadows. Uh, I end up using them for the face or some other stuff on my beauty routine, when it comes to beauty routine, so we'll see. Anyways, let's go back to this palette. 12 shades. Wet Effect Metallic Eyeshadow Pigment. They're supposed to be long-lasting eyeshadow up to 12 hours. That's not a lot. Like I usually love to wear my eyeshadows all day, but I guess then that will depend on the whole process, having good primer, um, and then of course with setting the whole makeup. And it's supposed to have minimal eyeshadow fallout, which I don't think it was, it was the case when I swatched them, but if the pigment is good, I can care less about that. <laughs> And this is what it says on the website. It says minimal shadow fallout because you want to rock a smoky eye, not a raccoon eye. <laughs> uh, that's good. So we have four finishes in this palette. Wet metallic eyeshadows, sparkly shimmers, creamy satin, and matte finishes. So I was hoping for this first shade. I am grateful for this one. I was hoping for this one. I thought it's gonna be matte, but this is actually satin finish. Then we have these two next to it. These are mattes. Also, uh, Road Crew is matte as well. And now we have metallics and shimmers. And now everything in between are metallics and shimmers. So the Spike Stud and Decadence, they are wet metallic eyeshadow. And then this one is the most interesting to me. It is Power Quartz and that's the one that I will definitely use today. That is um, shimmery metallic. So this palette is made in Vietnam and it has 24 months shelf life. Now to make a guideline for my eye, you don't have to do this. This is what I do just to emphasize and create outlook for my eye, but I'm gonna be using Inglos MC Gel Eyeliner in number 77. And I will start on the edge. Again, you, you don't have to do this step, but for me, this is a must when I do create certain looks. And as you can see, I'm using Urban Decay's brush that they brush that came in this palette and also to make this a little bit less dry i do use 
in glutes to roll line. I'm also using this on the other portion of my lower lash line. Now once this is done and it's looking like this, now it is time to dive into this palette. When it comes to eyeshadow palette, I do not prefer this type of eyeshadow pens. I really do love whether they are round or square, but this, mm, not my favorite. So I am going in with the first shade, which is light satin shade. I wish this was metallic, but still metallic, matte, but still it will work. And this one goes right into my, under my brow bone. And I am so happy that this one, it has a yellow undertone, yellow neutral undertone. I love it. Wow. Thank you for incorporating this one. I'm going to take bigger blending brush, but not this one. We do have a lot of kickback. Sound Tower is the next shade and this one goes right into my crease. The shade feels really soft and I'm going to connect this one with the previous one. I still don't want to touch this outline. I will go in with this beautiful black color with, which is called Heavy and it does have, it's not matte, it has glitters in it and when I swatch that one wow i loved it there are a couple of shades in here that i was like super super surprised again seeing the color story was okay it threw up a bunch of colors thinking not necessarily they're going to uh, create one cohesive color story but we'll see okay this shade the second one this is how it looks in a pen and this is how it looks on my eye it looks way deeper on my eye we definitely have opacity in this one that's for sure next i'm going in with this studio shade just a little bit on the other portion oh my god you know what is <laughs> this is amazing look at the fallout in a pen and look at my eye there's no fallout on my skin wow and this is literally what happens when you swatch the palette Wow. And this is a little bit, I would say, warmer brownish undertone. I don't want to use this one too much. This brush is so, so big. And the only way I can use this brush is when it's clear. I don't have nothing on my brush. And then just to blend the edges. But that's only if I'm working with one or two colors. That's all which in most cases I'm not. Let me try to use this brush with this shade Road Crew. This one is supposed to be really, really dark and I'm going around the uh, inglots. Wow, this, this is really strong pigment. I'm barely touching my skin and this is what happens. And how come I don't have, like I have a minimal fallout wow that is amazing and i'm going into this heavy shade i definitely need to work around the edges going in with a clean blending brush we'll just try to blend this out we also have a lot of other shades to incorporate and to blend everything so since these two last shades are they are way darker than I thought and way pigmented than I thought they're going to be. The pigment is real, you guys. Um, I'm going in with the studio shade again. Just trying to make transition. And I have to say they do blend really, really well. So far, I am satisfied with the performance of the palette. Just add a little bit primer and now I'm going to go... With the studio shade i'm gonna start somewhere around half of my eye take my blending brush and blend this shade now with the shade sound tower i am going in even more i will leave this space right here open and when it comes to this edge right here i am using shade road crew let's take smaller brush this road crew shade um it really does look almost it goes almost black the way these blends it is something really special and now shade heavy this one is supposed to be like really really black 
and intense. You know why this one would be great for a black eyeliner? But not only as the eyeshadow, you can use English Dural Line and transform it into a liquid liner. Definitely something I should try. I do have a little bit fallout and I will clean that up and we'll be right back. Now it is time for a fun part and we're gonna use this Power Chords shade. Before I go, I'll apply some NYX glitter primer on my eyelid. This stuff is amazing. One of the products I've been using for years. First, I'm gonna be using a flat brush to apply this color and I'm sorry, I forgot, I had to zoom you in. Look at this pigment. So vibrant, true metallic, beautiful color. And now I'm taking pointy brush and just going to spread this color. What I also wanna do is to bring this color inside towards this black color black towards the shadows that we have it's not a black color it's combination and i also want to apply a little bit of the color mixture of this color into my brow bone i want to go and mix a little bit of these two colors just to add some warmth and to combine this with a purple and now i'm gonna go in with the spike stud shade right into my corner see how pigmented this one is and it's mainly because of its formulation way way pigmented than i thought so what i will do i'll mix and spread this color with this purple and what i will do is to diffuse this color a little bit blend it towards this purple and usually what we want to do we are tending to achieve pigment but in this case it's too much of a pigment it's mainly because of difference of formulation so i want to make it work i'm gonna add a little bit more of phoenix glitter primer in here because again i will go with the power chords shade and i will spread that also a little bit of silver shared in my inner corner as well Okay, that's it. I will finish my eyes, we'll apply the rest of my makeup and we'll be right back with you. Here I am with the final thoughts of today's Urban Decay Metal Mania. Power Chords shade is so beautiful. This is the main star of this palette, I would say, literally main star of the palette. When I first saw this palette online this is the this shade was the one that caught my eye i think the formulation is so so good the pigment is stunning it goes so beautifully it's not creasing you know what if they could do multi-chrome with this shade that would be amazing even when i even when i mix this shade with this yellow let me just show you how you can customize your shades so you can get this shade for example so in that aspect this eyeshadow palette can be versatile as well one thing i wish we had or something that i would love for certain shades to be changed is that we do have a big skip in uh, undertones from the first shade to the first when I'm talking about matte shades, even though this is satin, um, it is, especially on a camera, like it's gonna catch more as a matte formula. But we do miss shade in between. I thought originally Sound Tower shade would be compatible enough with the first one, but the pigment is so strong and it goes way darker than it looks in a pan. It goes darker than I thought it's going to be. Like the pigment is real. So I would say that is the only thing that, uh, I don't know. I would love to be different. And when it comes to this shade, and this shade, Spike Stud, I'm thinking all the time, what is it reminding me of? And and it actually reminds, reminds me of Creolan's pigments. I don't know the actual name, but it's not actually the eyeshadow. So this one doesn't does not perform that easily as a eyeshadow uh, because when you pick it on a brush the pigment is so so strong. So they put it in as a eyeshadow formulation but I wouldn't say this is the actual eyeshadow. It's more like a cream pigment 
being metallic, metallic cream pigment. I wasn't sure when I saw this palette online what I can expect from it, but ended up being a good decision. And anyways, when it comes to quality and eyeshadow blending, this is easy to work with and it is something that's really important especially if you are a beginner so i would recommend this palette when it comes to that am i excited about this palette as i was about natasha denona or pat mcgrath or some other palettes no but this one did surprise me more than i was expecting so that's a good side of that palette and again i i'm in love with this color this color is so beautiful anyways let me know your thoughts when it comes to this palette what do you think before you leave make sure to watch this video and guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye